there guys, how's it going? So for you guys who probably don't know, I'm a huge fan of Pixar. It's my favorite animation studio and I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now. So, and thanks to the Disney Plus streaming service, I can actually do it. So I've decided to rewatch all the Pixar shorts and rank them all. And I'm only counting the original ones, like the ones before the actual film, like you used to watch in the theaters and the Spark shorts as well. But I'm not including the film related ones like Jack Jack Attack and Mike's New Car and Lamp Life and definitely not those cartoons. And let's get started with number 27 and yes, it's got to be a long day. And number 27 is bounded. Just because this is that last space doesn't make it awful, it's just very meh. I mean, it's not what I want from Pixar. I mean, Bounded does kind of have a moral message, but not in an artful way like Pixar is known for. It's really cartoony. It's something I would find on Nickelodeon. At number 26 is One Man Band. It's a great display of musicians with multiple instruments, but that's really it. It doesn't really have a lot going for it. I mean, the animation is okay at best, but it really lacks depth and connection like I normally expect from Pixar. At 25 is Lifted. Now, I give it credit for its premise. A alien trying to pass a test of lifting humans from a flying saucer is kind of funny. It does have that Saturday morning cartoon vibe to it. The problem is, like the other two, it really lacks depth and there isn't really a moral message. At number 24 is Pixar's first short, and that's The Adventures of Andre and Wally B. Now, this was made back in 1984, and it's only like a minute and 30 seconds long. Today's standards, it looks like a film school passion project. But back then, it was revolutionary. I mean, it just shows you not just how far Pixar, but also animation has come a long way. And I do think it still holds up. At number 23 is Presto. Not one of my favorites, but it's good. The animation and the direction is happening so quickly. It has a classic cartoon vibe to it, which I can really appreciate. At number 22 is the most important short in this list, and that's Luxo Julia. Now, this was the second short done by Pixar, and the animation is definitely a step up. The animation alone is very fluid this time around, and this was the origination for Pixar's mascot and logo, and this was Pixar's first attempt of making people care about objects, in this case, lamps. At number 21 is Red Stream. This kind of has a dark, depressing vibe to it. A unicycle dreaming of a better life. The animation is okay. Clearly, Pixar didn't know how to catch a human designs back then. That explains the creepy clown design. But I kind of think this is the precursor of the adept, the emotion that plays later on in Pixar. At number 20 is the weakest spark short, and that's Wind. Now, this is a story about sacrifice, and it is beautiful to watch. The reason why it's not high on the list, because I've seen this story before in animation done way better. At number 19 is Sanjay Super Team. Now, it has a infant Saturday morning cartoon vibe to it, but it's the most culturally diverse short film in the Pixar range, and it is a brave choice. It's a story about his dad and his son who have very different aspects of interest and at the end of the short film they kind of meet halfway. And number 18 is For the Birds. Physical comedy at its best. It's Pixar's first mainstream short and it doesn't have those nightmare designs. The birds are beautifully animated and for four minutes it does a decent job of telling its theme. And number 17 is Smash and Grab. Now in a nutshell this is basically a watered down version of Wally. -E. It has some great ideas the execution is just kind of meh. It dealt with the themes of depression and I wish we explored that more. At number 16 is Float. Now this one deals with the difficulties of parenting. It deals with kids with autism or on the spectrum and the climax really hits you on, on a personal and honest level. At number 15 is La Luna. I didn't get it, but was I supposed to? Probably. It's a simple yet sweet story about a boy and his father and his grandfather sweeping stars aside on the moon and I love the mixture of colours, yellow, blue and black. At number 14 is Jerry's Game. Now I remember as a kid this was on the Bugs Life bonus features and at this point Pixar really stepped up their game with the human designs. The colorization is amazing but watching a old man playing and beating himself in chest is so fun to watch and the old man does make a great cameo in Toy Story 2. At number 13 is the latest Spark short, Out. 
It's rare to see animation dealing with the LGBT community and it did not talk down on kids, it did not pander on kids. The animation is bright and colourful. We need more stuff like this in animation. At number 12 is Piper. This one is just so cute. I mean, the animation shouldn't be this gorgeous. It has the essence of an animal documentary and the sound designs like the ocean is so real. At number 11 is Knick Knack, and this is just so charming. It's another great example of Pixar making us care about objects. In this case, a snowman that wants to have sexual intercourse, but he can't because he's trapped in the snow globe. At number 10 is Tin Toy. I really like this one. I mean, if it didn't have that creepy baby design, it would have ranked higher. I mean, this one did win an Oscar for short film back in 1989, I believe. But I kind of think this is as the foundations to Toy Story. And it does, some of the parts of this does play a key part in Toy Story 3. And the Tin Toy does make a great cameo in Toy Story 4. At number 9 is Pearl. I really like this one. It's something we've never seen before in Pixar. Yes, it's not that depth, but it does go through the morals of workplace conclusion. And it's funny, and in some ways you can relate to this one. Number 8 is Lou, and this was the short before Cars 3, and this is a million times better. It's visually engaging, it's crisp, it's clear. A creature that's made out of lost and found items that changes a boy's heart Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a really underrated one. At number seven is Partly Cloudy. Now, it's so soft and cute. It adds weight to the whole fantasy concept about storks delivering newborns. And it is funny. And in some ways, it is an underdog story. At number six is Lava. This one was so close to being in the top five. The song itself is so perfect. It reminds me so much of Israel Ives' music. But Pixar found a way to humanize these volcanoes that are star-crossed lovers. At number 5 is Day and Night, 2D mixed with 3D animation with a really fun Saturday morning cartoon vibe to it. I appreciate they utilise their visuals and their concepts to their full potential. At number 4 is Loop, out of all the shorts this one should have been made into a feature film. Pixar really did their homework, it got rid of the perfect stereotypes and we really dived into autistic people and people who are trying to understand autistic. Number three is Bao, the most perfect diverse film in the Pixar franchise. The Chinese music is just simply beautiful. It's a simple yet sweet story about motherhood and letting go, but with a dumpling. At second place is Blue Umbrella. Visually, it's the best thing to come out of Pixar. Everything about this matters. I've never seen rain so beautiful in animation, the music is just per perfection. I mean, I could listen to it for hours on repeat. It was a perfect example of telling us so much with so little, making us care for this blue umbrella. So my favorite Pixar short is Kitball. Out of all the shorts, this one made me want to cry. I mean, it goes to the themes of animal abuse. The dog is covered in scars and it's very apprehensive about people petting on him. I'm an animal lover, so I'm kind of biased towards this one, but the 2D animation itself is just simply wonderful. This one should have won Oscar for best animated short. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what are your favorite Pixar shorts. Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.